Hello everyone, in this video and probably I would say the next few videos um, I want us to dig deeper into the verses that are uh, covering uh, dressings uh, for or hijab for uh, for women. Uh, so we are going to start with uh, with this verse, verse number 59 of chapter 33. But there is so many lessons that are packed into this one verse. So we might have to cover it in a couple of videos rather than just one very long video. Having said that, before we start discussing this verse, I want to review the topic that we discussed last time about the difference between a believer person versus a submitter person. If you have not watched that video yet, please go ahead and watch that. That is really a requirement for you to be able to understand what we are going to talk about. Having said that, I'm going to do a quick review of the previous Quranic lesson. So as we discussed yesterday and showed it from the Quran, there is two levels. The first level is submission or becoming a Muslim, uh, a submitting person. And this is, the, this is the entry level. So you become a submitting person, you practice the faith, and then the faith enters your heart. It becomes part of you and part of your character. And at that point, you become a believing person who actually strives in the way of Allah with uh, all their uh, belongings. So uh, that is a, a believing person. So the first level is, is a Muslim or a submitting person. If you look at this circle that I have here for you, you, you see there is a, there's this community of Muslims uh, in this circle. Everybody is a Muslim. Everybody's practicing, right? But then you have this special group here that they have achieved the level of uh, believing so they are believers so they are not only they are a muslim but also they are a believer so basically every mu'min is definitely a muslim so every mu'min is definitely a muslim so if you are a mu'min mu'min you if you are a believer you have to be a muslim but not every muslim is a mu'min that's not a necessity because you might be a muslim but you might not be a mu'min. The faith has not, might not have entered your heart. It might not have become part of your character yet. Or it might never become part of your character. That is fine. So that the level of the degree of becoming a believing person or a believer is a higher degree than being a Muslim. And Quran is very, very specific about these two terms and does not use them interchangeably. So I just want you to keep that in mind having said that let's go back to the verse that i showed to you before and that starts talking about hijab so let's read this verse together it says ya ayyuhan nabi o prophet qulla azwajaka tell to your wives wa banataka and your daughters wa nisa al mu'minin and the wives of the believing uh, men so this is very important. So it says the wives, Nisa means the wives, al muminins means the believing men. So let's write this down here. So tell to the wives of the believing men. So basically, he's really talking to, the, to all the wives of the believing men. He's not... He's not talking about to the wives of the submitting men. So we are not talking, we are, we are not addressing the wives of uh, the submitting men here. It's only in regards to the wives of the believing men in the community of, uh, of, of, of Muslims. So let me just show you uh, this, uh, sh show you this concept here again in this circle. So, uh, the verse is not talking about the wives of all of the Muslim women. He's only talking about the wives of this group in this special place. That they are both a Muslim or a submitter and also a believing man. So 
the, 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 so these are the people who are uh, uh, who Allah is uh, talking to in, in 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 that verse. He's not talking about the wives of all Muslim women. He's only talking about the wives of the believing men here in this category. So I just want you to see that he's talking about only these people. So who are these people? Who are these women? So these women could be from any faith. They could be a uh, they could be a submitting woman. They could be a believing woman. They could be Christian. They could be Jew. They could be secular. But if a woman is married to a believing man, they are they 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 should choose. Uh, this is a recommendation. They should choose. It's an advice. This verse to implement the recommendation of this verse. So um, this again, this is really important. As long as you are married to a believing man, and I'm not talking about a submitting man. I'm not. Oh, if 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 your husband is a believing man, and no one knows that really, but God, but Allah. You have to abide by this verse. Uh, and what does the verse tell us? Let's read the rest of the verse. It says, min It means lower their hemline, uh, uh, lower their garment. So as you know, obviously in the society, uh, I don't know where people are living, but I'm assuming you are all familiar and you have seen that obviously women, girl, they are free. They can... Uh, uh, put on uh, short uh, clothes, but if if you are married to a believing man, uh, Allah tells you to lower your hemline, uh, basically lower your garment, uh, so that you are covering certain parts of your body. And in another verse, Allah specifies which parts He is talking about. I don't want to go into that, but I just want to make sure that you all know that this verse is not really talking about all women at all. It's not even talking about all Muslim women. It's only talking about the wives of the believing men, not, not, not the wives of the submitting men. So it's not, it doesn't say Vanessa el muslimat So if this verse here, it had said uh, Vanessa el Muslimat, uh, I'm sorry, Muslimin, I apologize. So I have to, let me just uh, fix this uh, very quickly. So let's say if it had said Nisa'il Muslimin, it, mean, it would have meant uh, wives of the submitting men. But that's not what this verse says. This verse is saying wives of the, sub, uh, of the believing men so that's what this verse is talking about so it's not talking about all the muslim women so and it's only talking about the wives of the believing men it's not only it's not even talking about the daughters of the believing men only the wives so this verse is only talking about the wives so if you're so it, it doesn't even apply to the sisters of of believing men it doesn't even apply to daughters of believing men it's only the wives that have to abide uh, by this so this verse is excluding daughters and sisters of believing men it doesn't even apply to them unless unless they are also married to believing men so it's just so important this this is so important so i want you to have this in mind i don't want to make this video too long there's several other lessons in this verse but uh, let's start with this and hopefully in the next video uh, i will uh, i will i will talk more about the other lessons that are in this uh, in this verse for uh, for the true uh, for the true believers.
I hope you are all safe. Have a great rest of your day, wherever you are, whatever you do, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Ma salam.